Well, hello everybody, the History Guy here. It has been so long, but the busy part of my fall schedule is now pretty much complete. I have the next six days off before I go out for four more days, and then after that it slows way down. So I'm going to have a chance to make some videos this uh, next few days over the Thanksgiving holiday. I appreciate everyone's patience with me as I work my real job for a while. Um, since the end of August, I have spoken in 60 uh, elementary, middle, and high schools in western Pennsylvania and eastern Ohio, and it's just been an awesome thing meeting with thousands of students and teachers and just talking to them about how to treat each other better, and it's, uh, it's been really good, um, but I have missed very much being with you all and playing through some of these games that I love, uh, as my desktop has sat here largely unused except for my daughter's occasional uh, play on The Sims and Fortnite. But let's get back at this. So uh, we're in the No Infantry Campaign Challenge. And we're going to go into what is a bit of a tricky battle. It's Nansamon River. And basically what, what we're tasked with doing here is uh, taking this, uh, this fort. And this is actually a, a battle that's usually pretty easy uh, when using infantry. But it's going to pre present a little bit of a challenge, uh, I think, with units that are primarily infantry and cavalry or uh, mounted infantry and cavalry. I've decided to go with a, a nice healthy mix uh, just to see what happens. I haven't really tried this one yet uh, to see how it works. But uh, you can see I'm going in with 9,300 uh, soldiers, 48 guns. Uh, all of my batteries, uh, all four uh, batteries are 20-pounder uh, uh, parrots. Uh, so they're long-distance rifled artillery. I'm hoping I'll be able to use them to soften that thing up a little bit before I go flying in there with my cavalry. Uh, I'm going to wait as long as possible and just kind of clean out the troops that are in this area, push my way uh, over as best I can, maybe try to isolate a few of those units and get them destroyed with my melee cavalry. And then once the, uh, the help arrives uh, in the form of some gunboats, then we'll try to take the fort and destroy those batteries, uh, which are necessary to win the battle. So uh, let's go ahead and um, I think I'm going to just keep all of my... Uh, mounted infantry up front here and my melee cavalry off to the left side for now. Uh, you can see new unit has arrived, the 1st Virginia Cavalry. It's a two-star unit. Um, that is uh, in honor of my newest patron uh, on Patreon, and I appreciate those of you who continued to support me even though I haven't been able to make a lot of videos. Um, I promise you that I'm going to more than make up for that in the coming months now that I'm through my busy time of year. Uh, we're going to have a lot of time to work on some things. You'll also see that I do have that little uh, gameplay mod installed that allows you to kind of see uh, some things a little better as far as the range on artillery goes. Um, so that's helpful. So we'll see how that all works out. Let's go ahead and dive into this. We're going to get these guys dismounted. And they're just going to basically be my screen for my artillery that I'm going to start moving forward. I do have a couple more units that will arrive later, I think. I'm not sure if I have everybody already or not. Maybe I do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Nope, I've got everybody. Okay, so um, there's no reinforcements in this one. All 14 brigades are present and accounted for. We'll start moving up all my batteries to uh, probably right there. It's probably a good spot for now because I think we'll run into units right up in here. Meanwhile, we'll run right up the side with the cavalry. And then we'll pounce as opportunities present themselves. Looks like things are all clear, at least this far. So maybe we'll move up a little further. We'll go ahead and uh, move the artillery up maybe to right here for now, and then we'll keep going from there. There they are. Okay. So let's hang tight right here. He's gonna he's gonna run for the fortifications, which is fine. Where are my supplies? They're all the way over here. That's kind of crazy. Okay. All right. So uh, looks like we ran into some skirmishers. Let's just kind of hang tight right there. Let's move these guys up a little bit. We're gonna get the guns in position, start softening up 
his fortifications. Let's move in a little bit so we can actually fire back. And then we're going to hit these skirmishers with my cavalry. There's a lot of woods up here, so it's not going to be a real ideal position for the cavalry, but with enough cavalry, I don't think it should matter. a bit of an issue with the fact that there's woods here, but with enough cavalry that shouldn't matter. Five minutes until the next phase of the battle. That's when the gunboats will show up. We're gonna go ahead and move these. Our, uh, these batteries up. So I think we'll kind of just sit tight for the time being. It's gonna be tricky taking this. I want to just pummel them with artillery as much as I possibly can. Keep that artillery supplied. I've got 35,000 in supplies there. Get these skirmishers out of there. a second and just assess the casualty situation before we hit the next phase. We've pretty much even the odds now. He started with a 700 man advantage. Uh, I now have a 300 man advantage. So he's lost about 1,500 men to my 500 so far. But this is again, um, you'll notice a theme with these battles uh, in this mode with the uh, no infantry. Uh, it's a slow burn. It's a lot of kind of moving the chess pieces and then all of a sudden just all at once pouncing and turning what looks like a stalemate into a very quick route. Uh, so that's kind of how these battles go and that's, that's going to be how this one goes too, I think. All right, we got to pull these guys out before they get sucked into more than they're ready to deal with. We're just going to let him keep coming at me. Let's 
So I've got three hours, plenty of time. I've got to de destroy these three batteries, which will be easy once I get them out of the fortifications and into the open, and I hit them with cavalry. Just, just want to have a couple of these cavalry units here to, to protect. Let's go ahead and fire on the infantry that came at me. And I'll bring the 40th Kentucky Mountain Infantry over. The more casualties I can cause now, the fewer troops he has to defend that fort. Oh boy. So he sucked me in to a bit of a trap there. Because he had units up here in the plane. Seventh Cavalry is going to have some issues too because they're out in the open. They're going to get fired on. But they did their job. They routed the forces that they were facing and blew these guns up. Plenty of time. It, it's boring to sit and do it this way, but it's the way it needs to be done. Just soften the positions. Let's look at the numbers now. I've lost 800 men. He's he's down to just 6,000. That that number that shows out of 7,300 is a little misleading since he's lost some entire units. The main thing is I have a 1,300 man advantage now in terms of the troops on the field. Now we gotta start pushing through and dealing with these guys. Although, honestly, maybe I don't want to all that much. I mainly just need to contain them. Because they're not necessary to win in this battle. I'm just not sure I've got the, the forces to overrun that fort with my melee cavalry. But if these two mounted infantry units can contain these guys, I'll be okay. Not sure that they can. So far, so good, though. So, this is interesting. These guys are going to try to sweep around. So, I'm going to have to be careful and cover my flank here a little bit. In fact, maybe I'll go up and pay these guys a visit while they're in the open. Let's go deal with those guys. Alright, we gotta be careful here because uh, his artillery is starting to hit my melee cavalry a little bit. Right, we gotta send one to deal with them. 
but these guys are getting caught in the woods, so that's going to make make for a bit of a mess. All right, my advantage is now 1,500, 1,600 men. As long as that continues, um, I make things a little better for me. I'm going to have to probably, by about an hour to go, start thinking about my assault on the fort. Which, they're being hit from both sides, so that helps. I guess I can't issue orders to the gun, gun boats. Fire on this artillery. Ah, he routed me up there. This is a problem. I'm driving his mounted infantry right into my artillery over here, so let's get these guys moved around shore things up a little bit because I've got nothing to cover my guns right now. Oh, perfect. He surrendered. Okay. <laughs> Problem solved. Alright, he's got help coming. Alright, so let's look at those numbers now. Now, uh, a 2,000 man advantage. Problem is a lot of those guys are right here in the fort. Let's take a look at what he's got. He's got three brigades of infantry, all with uh, at least seven, uh, 600 men. So like I said, it's it's boring, but it's necessary to do it this way. That's just the reality of the way I have to play the game with these, with the lack of infantry. Looks like he's gonna send this other brigade into the fort. may need to get up into closer range so I can cause more damage. Okay. Let's finish these guys off. Hayes will go first. He'll either dissolve or surrender here in a second. And then we can take out Baker. Same deal. My advantage is now 2,400 men. Baker surrendered, perfect. If I can select him, there we go. Okay. Now let's come wipe out Kemper. Like I said, it's a, it's a slow burn, but eventually the slow burn turns into an explosion and we're gonna be coming close to that here pretty soon. We're taking out all these fringe units. The tough part's gonna be the assault on the fort. Hopefully softening them up enough with all of these heavy guns. Alright, Kemper won't last but a few seconds once I hit him. Still an hour 26 to go. Advantage is now 3,000. I've got him almost 2 to 1 at this point. Alright, Kemper's gone. This battery will be next. They'll last about a second once I hit him. Main thing is these batteries are being weakened big time. Plenty of time left. 
Now, unfortunately, I'm probably going to be driving these units right into the fort. That's not really what I want to do here. I wonder if maybe I can pull course back out. Tempted with this melee cavalry. be able to take out these batteries just with my artillery without even hitting them inside the fort, but I still have to take the fort. Okay, he's down to just 3,000 men and 18 guns. Now, it's going to be ugly as far as casualties go once I actually assault the fort. They're going to be on the front line taking the casualties, and hopefully I can rush in with the, the melee cavalry. Which isn't the best for assaulting forts, but it's the best I've got since I don't have actual infantry. ideal. Let's start moving down with these guys. They've got nowhere to go. They started retreating south, but then they realized they can't really do that because they're getting hit by the artillery. Oh, this is great. Slow burn pays off once again. It's just a matter of softening up the target and then going in really fast. Just wish there wasn't woods here. so weak and their morale was so low that when I hit them they just surrendered right away wow that was nice all right I'm, I'm very happy with that very pleased uh, that could not have gone much better I don't think and I wasn't really sure it would go that well I thought that one might be a little tricky one for me so um, captured a lot of guns I'll be able to turn around and sell actually a lot more than I expected for the size of the force I was facing so so that's nice um, officers, George McClellan, who uh, was leading my third corps, who took that attack in, um, were promoted to lieutenant general. We gained a couple major generals, did lose some colonels, three colonels killed, one uh, brigadier general wounded, but all in all, worked out.
worked out pretty well, I think. All right, so let's take a look at the situation. Uh, before we get into that, let's look at the map, because we've got one more, uh, the supply raid, which actually should be really easy with a bunch of cavalry, um, I think. Uh, so we'll see how that goes, and then we're going to be getting into the big one, Chancellorsville. That should be pretty interesting to see how that goes, um, being on the Union side with a no infantry campaign challenge. Um, all right, so let's do this. Let's go with... I guess I'll go medicine. I'm maxed out on medicine now. Um, I'll worry about building all this up later on. We do get to add one more thing for McClellan here. And I think we'll go with um, ah, speed and stamina. Okay. Uh, so that's where things stand right now uh, before we go into supply raid. I thought I... Oh, Grant's a major general or a lieutenant general also. Uh, so we'll do the same thing with him. So that's where we're at. Um, as always, I welcome your comments, your questions, your observations, your criticisms, any and all things. I'm going to do everything I can to make sure I at least get to Chancellorsville while I'm home for these six days. But I do want to play some other games because I haven't played any anything else for a long, long time. Um, so we'll see how that all goes. But it's great to be back. I'm going to check in at some point on, um, on Discord because I haven't been there for a while either. I've been working a lot about 17-hour days um, speaking in schools. So... Um, thank you once again for your patience. Thank you for your support of this channel. Check out some of the other videos, and I will see you again real soon. Thanks for watching.